important thing ever. <laughs> More than just a game's at stake in seven days' time. It'll uh, change the whole of New South Wales, to be honest. <laughs> No one loves sport more than newsreaders. It's been on the seven series in a row. It's been a while for you. They even choose teams for the Arab-Israeli conflict. <laughs> the news covers both kinds of sport, men's and women's. But not all female athletes are ignored by the media. This one received plenty of attention. But whatever sport the media is covering, the normal rules do not apply. <laughs> Usually in interviews, reporters ask questions, but in sport reporting, they ask statements instead. Yeah, look, it wasn't your best performance. Um, funny things happened in prelims, and they certainly took it up to you. Cyril Rioli, like, he won crucial one-on-ones in that last five minutes. In fact, sports reporters can get through life without ever asking a question. Well, a very romantic situation for you today. Obviously, you'll be hoping to come out of this with a ring. <laughs> You don't even need to follow the rule of interviewing the real people. Just get one of your mates to stand in for them. You be Brett Ratton. And I'll ask the questions. Brett, do you expect Sunday to be your last day coaching Carlton? <laughs> Is it I think what Brett's going to say? Or what? You are Brett. Yes, I think Sunday will be my last game. If they told you today, mm -hmm. would you coach Sunday? Yes, I would. Why? Well, I've invested five years in this group. Do you think Mick Malthouse is undermining your position as Carlton coach? <laughs> yeah, I do. To determine how effective this technique is, we interviewed Barack Obama. Mr President, do you think a random bald man can fill in for any interview subject? <laughs> Another rule that doesn't apply is to do your live crosses in a quiet place. And the message is the fans will have to find somewhere else But one rule of sports coverage that's never broken is it's all about winning. Winning's so important to the media that during the Olympics all they talked about was gold medals. I've got a gold medal for you for being an Olympic con artist. The Prime Minister gets the gold medal for both electricity price rises and hypocrisy. Mate, you gold medal for stupidity, don't you? He should win a gold medal for making money, I think. Give you a gold medal for being an Olympic weasel. If there was an Olympics for department stores, you're looking at the unbackable favourite for gold. It's even spread to court reporting. If there was an Olympics for alleged kitty fiddling, Robert Hughes would be the alleged favourite for gold. Yep, Aussie sports coverage is all about venerating our victorious heroes. This squad is hoping to win 20 medals when competition starts on Saturday until they don't win. They've been labelled fat, arrogant, distracted by celebrity and social media obsessed. You bastard! This year's Olympics was a case study in losing. That's when sport coverage becomes about the next best thing to victory, blaming stuff. Twitter! Twitter cost me gold. Seabot. The swimmer who beat us! The rising Chinese star, champion athlete, or drug cheat. Our coaches! There was quite a bit of anger there. They blame the coaches. Their coaches! The Aussie Olympic coaches have won 14 gold medals for other countries. Those 14 gold medals could have lifted Australia to fourth spot on the medal tally. The mathematics works perfectly. If you're a fucking idiot. Sorry, back to the blame. The crowd! A fan yelled out just before the start. The Australians claim it cost Melanie Schlanger a medal. Stripper poles! Could a stripper pole have affected Stephanie Rice's injured shoulder? The guy who built the pool! How do you design a pool to make sure that every lane is the same length? I mean, what if his lane was a couple of millimetres longer? The Gavin Man! Australian Olympic Chief John Coates saying the federal government's at fault for not making school sport compulsory. Kevin Rudd! The mistakes in Australian sport were made many years ago, and I'm sorry, this is all part of the Rudd government. But why stop at Kevin Rudd, Alan? What about the Australian people who voted him in? What about Captain Cook, who brought them here on his boat? And what about the people who invented boats? The ancient Cretans! Finally! The culprits revealed. But in the end, we can't win everything. Which is why we should just stick to massive over-coverage of the one sport Australia can't lose it. Aussie rules! Ireland has secured the International Rules Series on the Gold Coast with another comprehensive win over Australia. I blame 